Hey guys, this is Howie on the NCLEX topic, types of insulin. Meet Andy. He has diabetes. Recently, he's been tired all the time and he can't control his blood sugar. So, why is that important? Well, because you need your sugar to be able to climb mountains and stuff. You need to have a lot of energy and you can only get that from sugar. So, what's the problem? Well, first of all, the problem is, is that the insulin is made by the pancreas. And if your pancreas doesn't work, then there's little to no insulin to help get that glucose into your body. So, uh, what's the significance? Well, fortunately, nurses can administer insulin to Andy. Woot woot! Now, why is that important? Well, it's because we want Andy's blood sugar to be neither too high nor too low. There are grave complications for Andy if his blood sugar is one or the other. So there's four types. And that's rapid, short-acting, intermediate, and long-acting. All four insulin types have an onset of action, peak action times, duration, and the time of unwanted side effects, which are called adverse reactions. So that means that the type of insulin works at different speeds in order to provide an insulin to Andy's body right when he needs it most. So here we have rapid acting insulin, which is a Humalog and Novalog. It's easy to remember because they have log in their names. And that's what you use for emergency situations when somebody needs insulin really badly, usually when they have hyperglycemia, that's too much sugar. Next, am I recording this? Oh yeah. So the next thing we have is short-acting insulin. Where is it? There it is, Humulin and Novalin R. So you can remember this is short-acting because it has R, which stands for recombinant insulin, which means we grew it on a bacteria. It's for humans, so, so don't worry. Next we have NBH intermediate, which is a middle-acting insulin. It lasts roughly about it's 10 to 12 NPH hours. because it was named after the scientist that discovered it, Hagernon. And whoa, we're going really fast. Okay, so <sighs> long acting insulin. It takes long acting. So usually give it at night when patients are asleep so that it can continue to keep going. You don't have to worry too much because it doesn't work very quickly. In fact, it takes all night long. So as long as you know that the different insulins work in different ways, for example, rapid acting insulin works within 15 minutes, short acting works within 30 minutes. Long acting works all night and intermediate acting works from 10 to 12 hours. Okay, so subscribe to me, Nurse Howie, for more NCLEX type questions for you to review in a cool way, not in a droning long way. All right, oh, the video is over. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.